Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. Zelensky vows to punish attack on civilians in a pin. Russia bombards Mykolaiv a euro, live. Summary of headline article. 7 o'clock It's been a rough start to the week on the financial markets with Brent crude soaring by more than $20 earlier today to more than $139 less than $10 off its all-time high of $147.50 set in July 2008. It has now dropped back to $129 and with some analysts saying it could reach $200. Stock markets have read the signals loud and clear. Selling off heavily again in Asia. The Nikkei in Tokyo was down almost 3%. The Hang Seng was off 3.6% and the Shanghai index has lost 2.3%. In futures trade. The FTSE 100 is off 2.6% and the S&P 500 down 1.3%. IG Squawk. At IG Squawk. European opening calls. Hashtag FTSE 6828-2.28% Hashtag DAX 12725-2.82% Hashtag CAC 5909-2.52% Hashtag AEX 657-2.21% Hashtag MIB 21858-2.7% percent hashtag IBEX 7495 2.92% hashtag OMX 1947 1.96% hashtag SMI 11177 1.09% hashtag STOXX 3470 2.42% hashtag IG opening call the panic on trading floors. Sent safe havens sharply higher. With gold hitting as much as $2,000.86. It's highest since mid-2020. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of UK branded, inhumane, over Ukrainian refugees with just 50 visas approved so far. Summary of headline article. The UK government has been lambasted for reportedly turning away Ukrainians at Calais and being slow to issue visas, with just 50 so far approved UK branded, inhumane, over Ukrainian refugees. With just 50 visas approved so far the exodus of desperate families from Ukraine is fast becoming the biggest refugee crisis in Europe since the Second World War. It is also claimed the UK does not have basic facilities in the port city to deal with the refugees. As it emerged only 50 visas had so far been approved. But the UK scheme is limited to people with certain family members in Britain. Such as parents, children and siblings. Image. Copyright Stan Kujawa. Copyright Stan Kujawa. She said. I have staff in Calais to provide support to Ukrainian families coming to the UK. We are. But the Home Office admitted only around 50 inches visas had been given the green light under the Ukraine family scheme yesterday. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine invasion. Boris Johnson to meet foreign leaders to build united front against Vladimir Putin. Summary of headline article. Prime Minister Boris Johnson will launch into a week of what number 10 called focused engagement with his global counterparts to build a united front against Russian President Vladimir Putin. The leaders will front a No. 10 news conference alongside Mr. Johnson and visit in RAF base to meet UK armed forces. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player 116 RAB.
the Ukraine conflict will last months if not years or even more. Has World War III already started? The invasion of Ukraine and continued Russian aggression demands action now. Not in six months' time. On Sunday, the Mr. Johnson said Western nations have failed to learn the lessons of Russian behavior, that led to Mr. Putin launching his assault on Ukraine last month. From the sun under the main headline of Russian artillery blows up family. Summary of headline article. A mother and her two children were among the dead yesterday as merciless Russian troops fired on families fleeing the carnage in Ukraine. Valentina Boyarkina, 51, said she had not heard from son Anton, 28, or her 84-year-old mum for more than a week. He branded it a senseless war, and added, unless there is an immediate end to the conflict. Millions more are likely to be forced to flee Ukraine. Ukrainian soldiers with assault rifles swinging off their shoulders have helped wheelchair-bound. Pensioners and mothers with prams cross a few wooden planks tossed over the river on Saturday. Russia has issued a direct threat to Britain saying it will not forget support for Ukraine and warning of tough retaliation. From the Guardian under the main headline of oil prices saw 10% and stocks plunge as US and Europe. Consider ban on Russian crude. Summary of headline article. Oil prices have soared more than 10% and are closing in on their all-time high levels after the risk of a US and European ban on Russian crude threatened a stagflationary shock for world markets. The price of natural gas is closely linked to crude oil and is sure to lift again. Chart of the day. The Brent crude oil market. Since the launch of futures in June 1988 to today. Nominal prices. Hashtag OOTT hashtag Ukraine pick dot Twitter dot com slash Viney Chef CT8. Javier Blas. At Javier Blas. March 6. 2022 having climbed 21% last week. Brent crude was further energized by the risk of a ban of Russian oil by the US and Europe. Bank of America chief economist Ethan Harris said cutting off most of Russia's energy exports would be a major shock to global markets. Adding that the loss of Russia's 5 meters barrels could see oil prices double to $200 a barrel. From the Independent under the main headline of Russian forces a Euro fire at Kharkiv facility housing. Nuclear reactor a Euro. Summary of headline article. Russian forces have fired rockets at a physics institute in Kharkiv. Which contains nuclear material and a reactor. Ukraine's National Security Service has claimed. It claimed that Moscow's forces are firing missiles from truck-mounted, grad, launches, which do not have precise targeting, raising concerns that one would go astray. The Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Technology houses a nuclear research facility called Neutron. Source. In the active zone of which 37 nuclear fuel cells are said to be loaded. Footage published by Ukraine's Ministry of Internal Affairs on Facebook showed blasts hitting a building, supposedly at the Kharkiv Institute, but there was no immediate reports of any damage to the nuclear materials inside. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has also warned that Russian troops, having also seized Chernobyl, are advancing on the third nuclear plant. From BBC under the main headline of protests across Russia see thousands detained. Summary of headline article. If you are reading this page and can't see the form you will need to visit the mobile version of the BBC website to submit your question or comment or you can email us at haveyoursay at bbc.co.uk. Please include your name, age and location with any submission. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine war has put the brakes on efforts to remove Boris. 
Johnson. For now. Summary of headline article. One of those who was part of the disparate efforts to ease him out over the furore about Downing. Street parties told me. We can't just put this in a box for six months. If you say it's just about a piece of cake that's one thing. But if you frame it as about breaking the law you made and lying to Parliament it's quite another. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Arctic Blast could bring seven inches of snow in. Days is flood alerts issued. Summary of headline article. Coastal gales and heavy rain are forecast to sweep in from the west next week. With seven flood alerts issued for England today. Outbreaks of rain will work their way erratically southeastwards across the UK. The heaviest of this will be across western hills. Elsewhere, especially the east will remain largely dry with variable amounts of cloud and sunshine. But with some rain and showers. Image. Met Office. Met Office. Temperatures are expected to be mostly near normal to rather mild though feeling colder in the wind. The Met Office said, most places dry with sunny periods and variable cloud. Possibly a shower in far southwest later. From the Independent under the main headline of millions with disabilities a euro abandoned a euro in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Millions of people with disabilities are feared to be abandoned in Ukraine as aid organizations warned that few are reaching the borders. Charities trying to help people with disabilities, particularly those with learning disabilities, within Ukraine have told the Independent there has been a frightening black hole of information about these groups. Others warned that adults and children with learning disabilities may have been abandoned within residential homes and hospitals across the country as staff at the facilities flee the conflict. There are 2.7 million people with disabilities in Ukraine, according to the European Disability Forum. While Inclusion Europe estimates there are around 261, OO people with intellectual disabilities. Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat show all 10 1 10 Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine people walk under a destroyed railroad bridge over a main road leading into the East Ukraine city of Donetsk Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine a railway bridge. Damaged during the night of the 6th to the 7th of July. Near the village of Novobakhmutivka. 30 kilometers north of Donetsk Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine a bus drives under the bridge which was blown up. Recently by pro-Russian militants in the near of Donetsk Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine A Ukrainian government soldiers guards wrecked tanks and armored personnel carriers. APCs. Left by pro-Russian insurgents in the city of Slaviansk Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine Mines lay near a destroyed pro-Russian APC near the city of Slaviansk Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine A sign, Danger Mines, is set at the checkpoint near Slaviansk on the road to Kramatorsk Ukraine crisis. Bridges blown up as rebels retreat Ukraine Smoke rises outside the outskirts of the eastern Ukrainian city of Donetsk. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.